Now, boys and girls, it's time for your favorite storyteller. Tonight's story is Cinderella. Cinderella was the prettiest, most beautiful, and most talented one in the family. And all of them hated her, just like me. So beautiful and so talented. And they all hate me, you know. Oh, that's right. Cinderella wanted to meet the prince. Now, everybody's talking about prince, prince, prince. Let me tell you something about prince. Prince is nothing compared to me. That's right, prince could not sit next to me on my throne unless he's in a high chair. Oh, that's right, I've seen him, that little tiny man, posing naked on a horse. <laughs> Try to cover up with one hand. If I had to cover up one hand, why bother? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so anyway, Cinderella heard about the king's ball and she got all excited, just like I did. I love a good ball. <laughs> anyway, kings are always known for having great balls. And I ain't talking about Elvis. Oh no, Elvis was no king, I'm sorry. Elvis couldn't even tie my blue suede shoes. I wouldn't let him pet my hound dog. Oh no, if Elvis is the king, then what am I? Shut up. <laughs> so anyway, Cinderella was very sad because she couldn't go. And then in the middle of the night, her fairy godmother came and gave her beautiful gown, silver slippers, and a white carriage with horses. You know, they never gave me nothing. That's right, I haven't got a Grammy yet. They never gave me nothing. They gave Paul McCartney a Grammy. When I heard that, I screamed like a white lady in church. <laughs> Where was I? You know, everybody stole from me. Oh, that's right, I can't tell this story no more. I have to tell you the real story. That's right, everyone stole from me. Stephen Wonder and Ray Charles, I was blind first. Oh, yeah, I did that first. Oh, Diana Ross, Diana Ross, tall, glamorous woman. You know who did that first. <laughs> And James Brown stole my hair, stole my cape. Mm -hmm. He's in prison right where he belongs. Oh, yes, he is. And you know, Papa's got a brand new bag now. Mm -hmm. Probably got some shoes to match. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, that's all the time we have for Little Richard's Playhouse. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, sweet baby.